My name is Jonah Gelzo with Audio Test Plus, speaking to you with the beautiful backdrop of the Hollywood sign here in Hollywood, California. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about timecode for film and television, featuring the Timecode Buddy system and also featuring the Movie Slate app software. Timecode for many has always been a confusing topic. For most of us, we don't see the purpose, not to mention the learning curve in costly equipment typically associated with typical timecode solutions. All we do know is that those smart slates seen on bonus features of movies looks pretty cool. But what is the purpose behind dealing with the mess of timecode anyway? Is it really worth the time and money to get a proper solution in order? Well, the answer is yes. If you're in the business of making money or at least want to save time, which in the production world is money, then running proper time code is extremely important. First, let's throw back a few years and learn a little bit about how syncing was done in the early days. In the early days of film, there was no way a film camera could also record sound, thus requiring a separate audio recording device used strictly for sound acquisition. Hence the term double system. That is one system for capturing images, one system for recording sound. In the early days, the only way to sync the separate sound and picture together was by utilizing a dumb slate. Scene one, take 37. Dumb slate meaning no electronic timecode displays and means of communication between devices. A dumb slate did two things let you manually notate scene and take info, and with the clapper sticks on top of the slate, enabled an audible clap sound. Firstly, since a film is almost always shot out of sequence due to logistical reasonings and honestly just the sheer magnitude of shots recorded, it's extremely crucial for the editor to have all the shots notated so he or she can easily and effectively differentiate from one clip to the other. Instead of guessing which takes correspond to a dinner scene, for example. All the editor has to do is look at the beginning frames of each take and read the info written on the slate. Secondly, the purpose behind striking the clapper sticks is to create an audible sound spike as well as being able to visually see the precise moment or frame the clapper sticks meet upon impact. Thus to sync sound and picture, you line up the audibly heard sound spike on the playback head along with the first frame of film that the clapper sticks first meet upon impact. Thankfully, since those early days of cinema, we've developed more automated ways of syncing sound and picture together. Utilizing electronic equipment, which essentially transmits via a hard cable or wireless a timecode signal between both camera and sound gear, printing that data to video and audio tracks, allowing the editorial department to later sync both picture and sound together through computer software and automation. This automation takes the video clips and searches for the audio clips which contain the same timecode data, allowing them to quickly and efficiently sync the two elements together. Typical modern movie slates can now be jammed or synced with the timecode signal from a master timecode clock source. That is, the primary clock keeping time upon which all other cameras or separate sound recorders will be referenced to. This primary clock can either be the internal clock within a video camera or sound recorder, or can be a standalone clock device upon which all other devices are to be jammed. However, depending upon the quality of the devices jammed with the timecode signal, they have a tendency to drift in time over the course of a day. So after years of watching football and playing... Resulting in one or many frames out of sync from camera to camera or camera to sound recorder. To solve this, camera operators and sound recordists would take wireless transmitter and receiver devices and transmit the master clock source in real time to all the various devices, continually jamming and feeding the devices with accurate time code. At the end of the day, you're dealing with digital slates, sync boxes, wireless transmitters and receivers, and more. This, in short, is the way timecode syncing is done all the time on set. 
The bad thing for you and me is it often gets confusing with all the different kit you have to buy and keep a watch on to ensure smooth goings. And all that kit adds up extremely quick. Now, having entered the professional field during the DSLR phenomena, my career more or less has consisted of jobs on a tight time scale and an even tighter budget, often requiring more of all of us, even though usually there aren't many of us in the first place. This has required myself, just as I'm sure many of you, to work with gear that is flexible, increasingly lightweight, and extremely mobile, not to mention affordable. Yet while camera lighting and sound gear have seemed to evolve, timecode in my opinion has stayed more or less the same. As an Audio Tuts Plus author and production professional, I'm always looking for great innovative gear which adheres to the things I mentioned shortly before. During the summer of 2012, I got asked to run production sound on an independent feature film starring Eric Estrada, the actor most famous for his role as Paunch on the hit 70s show Chips. However, like most independent feature films, the budget is not always something to call home about. In fact, it would be more accurate to call it a micro-budget indie film. They hardly had sufficient budget to hire enough essential crew, let alone the budget to afford rental of expensive timecode gear. Yet they did manage to get two red scarlet cameras donated for the duration of the film, and I, as well as the post supervisor, knew that without a timecode solution, post-production would be a nightmare. Having looked everywhere else for a cost-effective and simple-to-use timecode solution, I really didn't turn up anything. Then I remembered having seen an innovative and cost-effective timecode solution, which was presented at the 2012 National Association of Broadcasters event in Las Vegas. The Timecode Buddy System, it was called, created by UK-based production sound mixer Paul Scurell and his team. The products boasted to be the first suite of products to combine generating world-class accurate timecode with the ability to sync to iOS devices over Wi-Fi. Needless to say, I remember being quite impressed. It also helped that with their British accents, anything they said sounded awesome. Not being sure if their product was even available yet, I thought I'd email Paul's team and inquire. After a kind response by the folks at Timecode Buddy Systems, I found out that the products we're just about done passing FCC regulations here in the States. Yet only with a short time from the start of principal photography, I didn't know if I'd be able to get their product in time. Paul Scurell got in touch with me and personally saw to it that I would receive one of their first units approved for sale in the States, just in time before shooting began. With only a weekend to familiarize myself with the timecode buddies, among other prep, I was worried I wouldn't have enough time to get comfortable with the buddies. To my surprise though, I found the Timecode Buddies learning curve to be enjoyably easy, and after an afternoon with the buddies, I found them a home within one of my Pelican cases, confident that come the following Monday morning, they'd be on the cameras and on my location sound cart, doing just as I expected them to do. So without further ado, let's go about setting up Timecode the Timecode Buddy way. Welcome to the Timecode Buddy System. So, when I talk about the Timecode Buddy System, what am I referring to? Well, the Timecode Buddy System consists of, firstly, the Timecode Buddy Wi-Fi Master and its sidekick device, the Timecode Buddy TX. The Timecode Buddy Wi-Fi Master is the core product in the system. It serves a number of primary functions. Number one, it serves as an extremely accurate timecode generator. Remember, all timecode generators are not made equal. Cheap clocks and internal clocks in various gear are often of poor quality and give way to timecode drift like I mentioned earlier. Number two, it's a multi-channel transceiver. That means it's a transmitter and receiver all in one so we can transmit data or receive timecode from any number of the timecode family, such as other Wi-Fi masters or Buddy TXs. Number three, it has Wi-Fi connectivity, hence Wi-Fi in its name. This is one of the really cool and modern approaches they've taken to timecode functionality and usability. In addition to sending or receiving timecode from and to cameras or sound recorders, you also have the ability to create a mobile Wi-Fi network upon which 
any iOS device such as iPhones, iPod, Touches, or iPads can connect and have streamed sample accurate time code. And you're not just limited to one iOS device, how about 10? Instead of using a specific smart slate like I mentioned before which only does one thing, display the time code readout, with iOS devices and the use of slate apps, you can stream and display a time code readout but in addition, the guy who runs the slate on camera can input scene, take info as well as notate camera department settings. The production sound mixer can make detailed sound department notes. A script supervisor or continuity director can make notes on how a scene went. And they can all do it on their own, personal device. And all this info can be saved and emailed. I'll talk more in detail about this app software in a bit. Instead of buying two Wi-Fi masters for syncing timecode between two cameras or sound recorder and camera, you can pair the Wi-Fi master sidekick, the Buddy TX, to handle the job. The Buddy TX offers a more cost-effective addition to the master. Its extra small form factor makes it a perfect companion on the side of your video camera or tucked away nicely in a sound bag. Talk about unobtrusive. In a short while, I'll explain how you would go about setting up timecode for some common timecode workflow system setups. However, before doing that, let's familiarize ourselves with our buddies. As the core of the buddy system, we'll start with the Wi-Fi master. The top of the Wi-Fi master houses the LCD display which showcases current timecode settings and houses various menus for setting adjustments. We also have the Buddy's antenna, the digital transceiver module, which in the States operates in 950 MHz FCC bands. Likewise, in the UK and Europe, the Buddy operates in 870 MHz CE bands. Next, we have the control knob, which gives us quick and easy access to the various menus through rotation, as well as selection through depressing the knob to perform selections. The single knob is perfect for one-handed operation when using the buddy in a bag, in a typical ENG situation. Now on the bottom we have our power and I.O. options, such as SMPTE timecode or TC out via standard BNC, SMPTE TC in via BNC, TV sync out on BNC, power input via 4-pin Hiroshi, and power input in TC in and out on standard LIMO 5. As can be seen, the Buddy hosts plenty of connectivity options, catering the various needs of film and broadcast, which often utilize different connections. SMPTE, or SMPTE as it's more commonly referred, stands for Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, and is a set of cooperating standards that label individual frames of video or film with a time code, embedded within the sound or video files, providing a time reference for editing synchronization, and identification. On the buddy side, we have the cold shoe adapter, which can be used to attach directly to a camera cold shoe mount. Additionally, with the buddy bracket holder, we have additional ways to more securely mount our buddy to large format cameras, sound carts, and more. However, we also have the option to stow the cold shoe within the buddy itself by simply reversing its orientation. Lastly, the blue segment which wraps around the buddy is the access point to the buddy's internal powering source. Simply press down on the ribbing on both sides of the buddy and slide out the battery tray holder. Our battery tray holder holds two standard AA batteries. Now, along with hosts of I.O., we also have multiple powering options. See, flexibility in a product is so important. Just like that, our external tour of the buddy Wi-Fi Master is complete. Well, that wraps up part one of my tutorial series on demystifying timecode. This is Jonah Gelzo from Hachiko Square in Shibuya, Tokyo City. Thanks for watching.